Well, cold air and snow covered yards. Who isn't ready to trade it all out for warmer temperatures and green grass? Indeed, just about all of us are looking forward to driving with the windows down and basking in the summer sunshine. Mm -hmm. Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames is live outside in the elements, but first he's going to give us a look at some of the chilling weather stats we've seen so far this winter. Joseph? We already have a lot of old pile snow now mixing with new snow that feels like it's never going to melt away or just leave. But think about this. We've already seen closer to this amount taller than this ruler. We're pushing 40 inches of accumulated snowfall. Some quick math. That's over three feet of snow. Over three feet of snow. A bulk of that fell on us last month, 22.6 inches to be exact. But we saw our first snowfall on December 5th, and it continued to fall, building to six and a half inches of snow for the month of December. Not only are roses and chocolate adding up for your mid-February, but we've collected over seven inches of snow, and it just keeps coming. There's no question this winter has been brutal. It's worn out our cars, worn out our streets, it's even worn out most of us, including me. No, not today. Way too cold. That cold winter attitude seems pretty justified, especially when you look at the facts. We've seen 13 mornings below zero. Some days it's been too cold to start school on time, and most of us have had to suffer through a freezing drive as we shiver and wait for our cars to warm up. Warmer temperatures seem all but a distant memory. 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Spring is just 34 days away, and before you know it, we'll be trying to find a way to stay cool. Yeah, spring just can't come quick enough. Real fast, so I've already seen a few cars as they accelerate. Their tires are spinning, so if you are heading out for your evening, make sure that you do give yourself a little extra time on the roads. But with all the snow and all those cold temperatures that you just saw, we also led to six broken records for our morning lows. So it's just been a bone chilling winter and it's going to continue for at least overnight tonight as we see some more snowfall. We're going to throw it back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thank you very much, Joseph.